Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel. In this video lecture, we'll consider a numerical which states that an LTI system has an impulse response H of n is equal to 0.5 to the power n u of n. Determine the input to the system if the output is given by y of n equal to 0.5 to the pow power n u of n plus minus 0.5 to the power n u of n. It is, it is in simple, uh, what it says is H of n and y of n are given. The task is to find the input x of n. How do I find that? For that, uh, let me write y of n. What is y of n? y of n is equal to, it is x of n convolved with h of n. This is y of n. So now I have to find x of n. How do I find that? For that, uh, let me take the z transform on both the sides. y of n leads to y of z which is equal to x of n leads to uh, x of z over here and h of n leads to h of z. Convolution is multiplication in z domain. Convolution in time domain is nothing but multiplication in z domain. So once this is done, therefore I can write x of z is equal to x of z is equal to y of z that gets uh, divided by h of z. So ultimately I would take uh, inverse z transform so that I can uh, get x of n back. So this is the method uh, how we find uh, x of n. So now that is equal to y of z. What is y of z? y of n has been given. I have to take the z transform of this so that I would get y of z. This looks like alpha to the power n u of n. It is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse. So in place of alpha I have 0.5. Therefore I am going to get 1 uh, divided by 1 minus alpha that is 0.5 z inverse. Is this fine? Plus alpha to the power n u of n. In place of alpha I have uh, minus uh, 0.5. Is this fine? Therefore this is equal to 1 divided by 1 minus alpha minus of minus this becomes 0.5 z to the power minus 1. Everything now gets uh, divided by uh, in the denominator we have h of z. What is h of z? h of n is equal to 0.5 to the power n u of n which is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus alpha that is 0.5 z to the power minus 1. So this is the expression for x of z. So let me simplify this further. So first uh, I would simplify in the numerator. I would take the LCM. Uh, I'm going to get 1 plus 0.5 z inverse plus 1 minus 0.5 z inverse everything gets divided by I have got three terms in the denominator so let me write those three terms in the denominator so this is 1 minus 0.5 z inverse this is the first term second term I have 1 plus 0.5 z inverse and in the third term I have this as 1 minus 0.5 z inverse. Is this fine? So now simplifying this further, what I am going to get? If I look 0.5 z inverse minus 0.5 z inverse would going to cancel each other. 1 plus 1 is nothing but 2. And here everything gets uh, divided by, I have got uh, 3 terms in the denominator. If I compare, 2 terms are same. So the, it becomes square of that. So let me write, this is 1 plus 0.5 z to the power minus 1. This gets multiplied with 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 square. Yes. How do I simplify this? To simplify, to expand this, I must make use of the concept of uh, partial fractions. So here I would write this as k1 uh, divided by 1 plus 0.5 z inverse plus k2 that gets divided by 
वन माइनस पॉइंट फाइव जेड इनवर्स स्क्वायर सो लेट मी एक्सपैंड दिस यूजिंग दिस देर फोर टू इक्वल टू इट्स एज गुड एज आई हैव टू टेक द एल सेम ओवर हियर के वन इन टू दिस पार्ट विल बिकम एंड प्लस के टू इंटू वन प्लस पॉइंट फाइव जेड इनवर्स एंड डिनोमिनेटर डिनोमिनेटर वुड कैंसल आई वुड इक्वेट द न्यूमरेटर्स दैट इज वॉट द मैथड ऑफ पार्शियल फ्रैक्शन इज दैट इज इक्वल टू के वन इंटू वन माइनस पॉइंट फाइव जेड टू द पावर माइनस वन स्क्वायर इज दिस फाइन प्लस के टू इंटू द फर्स्ट टर्म फर्स्ट टर्म इज वन प्लस पॉइंट फाइव z to the power minus one denominator would cancel and I have equated the numerators. So now I have to put such a value for z inverse so that one of the values will be zero and I would get the value for k one. Later I would put such a value for z inverse. This term would uh, cancel so that I can get the value for k two. So now uh, let me put uh, z inverse is equal to first two. If I put z inverse equal to two, what happens here? This is nothing but point five. Point five is nothing but one by two. Uh, two and two would cancel. One minus one is zero. Therefore, k one term will become zero. I would get the answer for k two. So what happens now? So two is equal to this term will be zero plus k two into what do I have here? One plus point five z inverse. Z inverse is due, and uh, this is uh, point five. Point five is nothing but one by two. Two and two would cancel. I get one. One plus one is nothing. One plus one is nothing but two. Therefore, what I am going to get k two is nothing but one. So ultimately, I am going to get the value of k two as one. So this is important. Once that is done, I shall move further, and uh, I would put. in the same expression z inverse equal to minus 2 so that uh, let me see which term cancels 2 equal to now i am going to get k1 into 1 minus uh, 0.5 and z inverse is nothing but minus 2 uh, 2 and 2 uh, cancel minus of minus it becomes plus Plus one square plus what happens with the k two term? This is uh, minus two. Uh, this becomes one minus one. It is zero. Therefore, I am going to get this as two equal to k one. Uh, one plus one is two. Square is nothing but four. Therefore, k one is equal to two by four, which is nothing but one divided by two, or it is also equal to point five. so this is how i get the value of k1 and k2 so just let me put these things in a boxes uh, ultimately what i do is i'll substitute the values for uh, k1 and k2 therefore i would get x1 of z equal to x1 of z is equal to where is the expression the expression is over here so in this expression put k1 and k2 if i put k1 k1 is 0.5 0.5 divided by 1 plus 0.5 z inverse that i am going to get so let me write that so here i am going to get 0.5 that gets uh, divided by 1 plus 0.5 z inverse that is the first term plus the second term K two divided by K two is nothing but one one divided by one minus point five z inverse whole square that I am going to get. So here this is nothing but one divided by one minus point five z inverse square. So now I can take inverse z transform. So what I do here is taking taking inverse z transform taking inverse z transform so what i'm going to get x of n is equal to 0.5 is a constant i'll just write it as it is so this is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse i repeat 1 divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse uh the inverse z transform of this is nothing but alpha to the power n u of n 
is this fine in place of alpha here i have minus 0.5 therefore it becomes minus 0.5 to the power n u of n with respect to the first term but with respect to the second term just look here this is nothing but 1 divided by 1 minus 0.5 z inverse whole square so this also resembles the transform of the standard result what is that n into alpha to the power n u of n z transform of this this is nothing but the standard result which is alpha z inverse divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse whole square so if i uh, compare the denominator it, it almost resembles but in the numerator I should have alpha z inverse what is alpha in this case alpha is nothing but 0.5 which is not present so I would include 0.5 z inverse in the numerator but I just cannot include the way it is I have to cancel them out I would cancel that with z to the power plus 1 and I would divide this also with 0.5 therefore ultimately they cancel and uh, I have, I'll get whatever I have and 1 minus 0.5 z to the power minus 1 square so now comparing this I'm going to get the z transform ultimately this is 0.5 minus 0.5 to the power n u of n plus so here you just be careful uh, n alpha to the power n u of n therefore I am going to write uh, 1 by 0.5 this is nothing but 1 by 2 2 goes to the numerator so this is 2 is the constant now alpha z inverse divided by 1 minus alpha z inverse whole square is nothing but n into alpha to the power n alpha is nothing but 0.5 to the power n and I, I have that gets multiplied with u of n is this the final result no there is one term which I call it as z to the power plus 1 is nothing but I have to make use of time shifting property of uh, z transform so wherever I find a n replace that with n plus 1 so that would be the ultimate result in the second term wherever we have n replace that with n plus 1 1 so this is the final value this is the final answer of x of n a very tricky numerical but I hope uh, you people have understood if there are still any doubts please let me know them on to the comment section I would definitely answer those uh, doubts meanwhile subscribe to our channel NJ classes for more videos on signals and systems till then thank you so much for watching